view entity. The next topic is series view entity. So, so far the series view which we created, what is this one? In this view, we created a series view, but in the back end, SAP is generating one more view called DDL view the, with the name what we are mentioning under this SQL view name. Okay, if I expand this data definition below to it, I can see the CDS view and also the DDL view, uh, data dictionary view, uh, GV underscore S one. Okay, so one a CDS view, but contains two different components. One is main CDS view, another one is the database view. Now, what SAP is doing is SAP. Um, uh, what what I can say, uh, come up with a new one. Okay, a CDS view entity is a CDS entity defined using the statement define view entity. So the same way how we are using here define view, a CDS view entity also follows the same kind of notation define view entity. Okay, view let uh, earlier it is view now view entity. Okay, and this view entity is a replacement to the existing view. So CDS view entities are the successors, means next version elements. Okay, earlier we are using view, but what was the drawback in the view is we always need to create a backend database view also. But when it comes to this CDS view entities, there won't be any uh, database view, uh, you know, um, pointed to this one. CDS view entities are the successor are CDS or DDIC views absolute successor of okay they have the same structure and serve the same purpose as CDS DDIC based views it means um, this is a new kind of a view entity and old view both for, you know defines the same kind of uh, you know uh, purpose means simply what we are doing we are replacing the view with the view entity now they represent an improved version of improved version. So we will understand more in detail uh, with an example that will be more easy instead of you know discussing with a description. Now what we are, what I said here earlier, we created one CDS view. When I am creating this, I am providing the backend database view name also. So when I expand, I can see two elements that are binded to the CDS view. Now what I am going to do, I am going to create now a new CDS view. But this time when I am creating um what is uh, this vba right v view entity what exactly it means projection on vbap view entity so earlier i am selecting uh, it's a transfer view define view template now i am using define view entity template that's it earlier it is view entity view now i am creating define view entity now i am clicking on finish button now what's the difference is in this defined view entity CDS view, there is no SQL view name. We no need to provide any further. Okay. So it means uh, no need of any database view. Simply with this view name itself, we can call anywhere. Okay. So we are reducing that extra one, you know, DDL view. Now here also I am writing. So I am here, I am trying to implement same CDS view here also. Okay. Let me remove this comment. And uh, so here I written VBAP, select start from VBAP. So here also I'm select from VBAP. I'm writing. And here I'm going to write the same kind of fields. And remember yesterday when I'm creating this view, uh, when I, you know, when I'm not providing the corresponding unit of my quantity, system is giving one error message saying, what exactly it is saying? It is saying uh, reference information is missing. Okay. So that's why reason what we did quantity along with the unit also we given here. But uh, always uh, we need to do some R&D here. So, if I am not giving unit and trying to activate this CDS view, is system allowing me? See what it is saying? Inconsistency, unexpected word brackets. Okay. And then activate it. Unexpected word uh, bracket. Everything is correct because of not providing you know that particular unit system is not allowing me to activate now if i activate this now also there is another message 
one second is this error message from which one one second I'm a bit confused here let me copy this or else let me copy these three there are no errors here now let's go here what i am going to do i am removing my unit in my old cdsu i am trying to activate it okay so when i am trying to activate it you see the symbol here on the data definition I'm seeing a rectangle symbol here which means the inactive state but now it is not there it means system allowed the warning it is show, just show, showing the warning information here reference information missing of the data type now if i go here and do the data preview open with the data preview i am able to see the data you see data is also coming means providing this unit here is not mandatory okay the first point but giving the unit it resolves this warning message okay if i provide the unit here then the warning gone so the serious view looks more uh, you know clear clear way so that one thing now i am going to this view entity in the view entity, I am going to define the same way how I defined for the view. I am copying all the columns from here and then pasting all the columns here. And then what I, what changed here? The change thing is only the SQL view name that uh, catalog is not there. And uh, as part of default template, SAP is giving some other thing here like object usage type and everything. Okay, we will discuss about this uh, object model usage type and everything later point. But in this one, if I copy the same thing, here I am seeing error. You see, because it is in red color. What it is saying? Reference information missing or data type wrong. Okay. It means SAP is giving an error message here. In the old view, it is just a warning message, but here it is error. So what was the error? Uh, to understand the error, just click here. Then on the bottom problem screen, you can see it. Right click here and then go to problem description then SAP will give you the clear information about this error message. Elements uh, mm, elements of the following data types requires a reference element. Means currency, quantity. We know this uh, ZMENG is a quantity. Such kind of quantity a kind of elements requires a reference element unit. I said right, our uh, quantity always binds with the unit. But even though I am providing unit here, system is showing error message. So how to resolve this error message? SAP is saying use one of the following annotations to maintain the reference information. Means simply providing the unit column in the view definition is not enough. You need to provide some extra annotation for the amount and quantities. Because it is quantity, now I need to provide this semantic dot quantity dot unit of measure annotation. Okay. How to provide this one? To provide this one, uh, we have the syntax like this. So quantity and unit, whenever we have quantity and currency columns in our uh, view, then we need to provide corresponding annotations to handle it. Before this uh, quantity column, we need to write this. Oh, sorry, I just want to copy from there to here. At the rate, semantic. So at the rate, semantic, SEM, when I am writing here, SAP is giving suggestions here. Just to type uh, a tab and enter tab and enter will give the one then dot after semantics what we need to write quantity because sap is saying here right quantity dot unit of measure so when i am saying quantity tab enter quantity dot then unit of measure so again tab enter unit of measure here i need to mention this particular quantity column refers to which unit Z I E M E. Okay, that's it. Whenever I am binding this quantity with the corresponding unit, my error gone. You see that error message gone and only one uh, warning message is there here. So regarding the search help, later we will look into it. But error is gone. Now activate it. So when we are using this uh, and latest uh, view entity, uh, which was a replacement of view, we need to make sure the amount and quantity columns are uh, taken care properly with the, uh, the corresponding handling of uh, units okay so that is one thing next so now we learn a 
now in coming days sap is saying this uh, view type is obsolete so that's the reason from now onwards if i create any series view i always create with the view entity only so that it will be helpful uh, to understand uh, you know this kind of uh, you know errors and we can discuss it.